I have some good news and I've got some better news. And the good news and the better news has nothing to do with what's going on in the world today. But the good news is, after about two years of making this book, I finally finished what I feel like is the penultimate, in other words, the second to last, edit of this book. And it really excites me because I fixed a lot of problems. I've got, can't see it, but there's a bunch of scribbles of things to fix. And I went through the whole thing and found a lot of things that didn't work, pulled them out, some darlings in there that I really enjoyed that I had to kill. And it's in a much better place. The better news on that is that I allowed myself, if I got done with that edit, I would start writing a new book. And it's a book that I had been imagining in my brain. I have a terrible point of any time I'm writing a particular book, I start thinking about another book, a next book, something in a whole different genre. I just can't concentrate on the current book and I want to write something completely different. And so I said, if I finish the edit on this book, then I get to write something new. And so I did. I finished the edit. I got to the last page. I'm very happy about that. And I couldn't help myself, but I started writing immediately. Not, not actual work, but didn't start the book, but I started all the foundations of what I wanted that book to be like. I started outlining some of the basic plots, the characters, uh, some of the things that I really wanted to happen, some of the world ideas, and I started building into that, and it's really helped me a lot. So this video is unscripted. This video, I'm just gonna speak from the heart. This video is about what joy you can find if you find that purpose that really speaks to you, that can really build you up, even in times of terrible things that are going on, that can really make you happy. So let's talk about my writing journey. Let's talk about my failure and where I've come from and where I'm going. Originally when I started writing, when I was 10 years old, I told my brother and my father and my family that at the dinner and my father and brother laughed at me, which I don't blame them. There's no hard feelings about that because I just literally started reading books the year before. I had never really read anything other than cereal boxes that I actually enjoyed before 10. So the idea that this kid who just started reading novels this past year suddenly wants to be a writer is a little ridiculous. I wrote a novella in a universe that still to this day is with me. Musically enough, every other writing project other than that one are essentially ways to figure out how to write and that's the one that is the one that's in my heart and soul. So I wrote a novella about that world, which wasn't good, but I destroyed it like most things that I do. And I wrote off and on here and there trying to figure out how to write and didn't get much through. And I have 20 books on how to write um, over the years. I started buying them when I was 17, 16, and they never really meant much to me because one, I hadn't written, and then two, because I thought so highly of my skills that obviously this was beneath me, and I think three, I was so ashamed of how terrible I was that I didn't think I could ever really get there. So then 20-ish, 25 comes, I write an actual novel length. It's not an actual book. Uh, it's a novel length. It's about 55,000 words. Uh, novel's usually about 50,000 words. I wrote that and I gave it out. I remember to my mom and my sister, they looked at it and said, I have no idea what you're talking about. This makes no sense. I can't even make heads or tails of it, which 
looking back on it and having read it, makes total sense to me. I'm so immersed in the world I have been since I was introduced to Dungeons and Dragons back when I was 13, which is 30 some years ago. Um, that world had always been in my head as something that I built upon for decades. So it made absolute sense to me, but conveying that to other people didn't make a whole lot of sense to them. I know how to fix that now. Some days I'm gonna actually write that and publish it. I hope and pray, that's, that's the end goal. That book was the end goal. But then I didn't write for quite literally a decade, 15 years after that. And when I did try and I got my first book written, um, it was terrible and it was awful. And I have a whole video series about how terrible those books are. And the great thing that's humorous about my beginning is this, book one, the first version of it that I wrote, a lightning bolt actually hit my apartment, hit my computer, destroyed it, lit it on fire. And so my computer caught on fire and all the data where my book had been residing was gone. So the universe told me, your book is terrible. It's not worth reading. It's not worth writing. But yet I wrote it again. Was it good? No, it wasn't. It was still terrible. But what I did do was I kept on writing. And that is the most important thing that I think any writer or any creative person can really learn for themselves is you do it anyway. Because it's who you are and it's what brings you joy. It brings you fulfillment. It brings you, when I say at the end of the video, peace, love, and happiness, I mean it for that reason. It brings me peace. It brings me love. It brings me happiness. So I'm reading some of my more recent work, uh, two of the books that I had written last year, I read, and the first one is pretty good. Definitely has a lot of work to do. I might have to rewrite the whole shebang um, from the ground up to really make it work. Uh, the next one after that, um, good, not great. Definitely another saggy middle issue, uh, but has some definite, um, there's a viewpoint issue. I'm not sure how to fix that. Anyway. That being said, I know what the problems are. And so that's the important thing also is that the more you do it, the more you can see what the problems are, the more you can see where things are not going well. You can see the difficulties, you can see the mistakes, you can see the issues, you'll know it before you even start. You'll be able to plan for it, you'll be able to have it in your mind. And then when you get to the sculpture, you see that whatever it is, wood, I don't know, you see the knot on the wood and you know how to work around it. And so that's what I'm learning as well. There's a book I wrote for NaNoWriMo, was it last year? I think it was last year. <laughs> yeah, done a couple of them now, so now it's fogged in my head, which is amazing. And see, that's, that's the story. You keep doing it until you're like, you know what, I don't even know which one that was. So I'm pretty sure it was NaNoWriMo last year. And I wrote this book um, to really kind of up the ante on a series, my first second, third book, up the ante on that. I wanted to write some amazing characters. I had them in my mind. I, I loved them. I thought it was great. And I really wanted to bring the good parts of those books that I had written about that universe, about those characters. I want to kind of raise um, the ability. I wanted to raise my competency, um, raise my level skills, you know, all the things you're hearing Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder and all that good stuff, you know, raise my skill level, put it in there, specialization, writing novels, you know, I got like two ranks, so I figure by now in it. And that book has been a blast to read. I've really been enjoying it. The authorial voice, the voice of the character is perfectly aligned. And so I'm reading, there's some problems, obviously, but it's amazing reading it because I see the characters so clearly. I see how they're acting, how they're reacting, what they're thinking and how they're thinking it. And it's so amazing to see that. And as I'm reading it like a reader instead of a writer, um, which, you know, if you read as a writer, a lot of times I will interrogate, you know, this sentence leads to this and da 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 
at some point I'll do a video on singing structure and sequences and you'll know all about that stuff because that's one of my biggest problems. It was amazing to see that book really come alive. So that's been, what, six years that this has been going on? Six years of diligent, hard work. Uh, that book that I'm just talking about, that is book 14, technically, I think, that I've written. So book 14 is good, I feel. Definitely needs some revision, definitely needs some editing, definitely needs some <laughs> taking out of the weeds, because there's a part that I read and I went, what was I even thinking? That doesn't even make sense, just get that out of there. But I know that, I can see that, I can pinpoint it, go ahead and you know outline and say, okay, this doesn't work, pull this out, maybe put this in, remove this whole chapter, add a chapter in there for this. All that stuff makes more sense now. And so if you're having problems with whatever creative endeavor you're dealing with, whatever creative endeavor that really speaks to you, keep at it. Because the more you practice, it doesn't make you perfect, but it will make you better and you'll get results and you'll get better results and you'll get better results until you look at something that you created and it will really make you happy. It will bring joy in your life. So as the plague zombies are everywhere, as the news is terrible and social media is terrible and it seems like the people in the world that should be doing the right thing don't have a clue how to do the right thing, I'm not worried about that as much because I have this book and I have faith in myself and I have faith in what I'm doing. And I'm not saying I'm gonna make a million dollars on it. I'm not saying I'm ever gonna really get published. But what I do know is that that makes me happy and that brings me joy. And so when I'm thinking about writing this new book, I look at the news and I go, you know what, this too shall pass. I'm gonna know people who are gonna die from it. I know that society is going to change, but I have a foundation upon myself of who I am and what I do and what I love and what I believe, and that's gonna carry me forward. And it's important, I think, if you are a creative person, if you have a creative endeavor, or maybe you've never given it a shot, or you've never felt worthy enough to do it, is to do it anyway. This is the kind of feeling that you just can't get from, you know, as much as I like ice cream, as much as I will pick out on some ice cream, it doesn't feel as good. It doesn't really bring me joy. It doesn't bring me peace. It doesn't bring me happiness. It gives me a temporary satisfaction of mm -mm, ice cream was good, yay me. But then it leads to, you know, oh, well, that's over. Can I eat more ice cream? That was probably not a good idea. I'll have heartburn overnight, you know, that kind of thing. So this does that. This brings me all those good feelings and I'm excited. I'm excited about writing a new book. I'm excited about exploring these characters. I'm excited about exploring their world. I'm excited about looking at how they struggle, how they overcome. I'm excited about the fact that I'm going to plan it. I'm going to write it and then there's going to be surprises that come up that I haven't even thought of and I'm going to look at those and I'm going to say that's amazing and that's wonderful and that's something that I don't know how to give to people if you don't do that. So if you're a doctor right now and you're feeling terrible, today is awful and I hope that things will get better and I have faith in you that you will make things better. It's going to take time and it's going to take a lot of effort. I wrote three terrible books. I wrote several books after that that weren't any good either. This book here is book 11, I think. And it's been two years and it's just now coming into shape. So love yourself. Give yourself some space right now. Stuff is bad and it might get worse. Have faith in yourself that you can and you will get through it. Life is gonna be awful. You'll figure it out. And if it's not any good, we'll make it good. And if we can't figure it out, we'll figure out a way to figure it out. 
keep that in mind so eventually you'll get to a place that will really bring you a lot of wonder in your life. And it's not going to be easy, especially between my third and my fourth book. Like I've said before, it almost broke me. It almost destroyed me and I didn't want to write anymore. And I read the books that I had already bought on how to write. And I said, I don't know how to do any of this. And everything that was in these three books was wrong. But I wrote again and that worked. And I kept working and I had a joyous day when it was Sunday when I finished the edit, finished the last edit, and I started reading book 14, and I said, man, this is pretty good. This is really, this is really what I want. This speaks to me. And now I'm going to write something new. And that exploring that whole universe and those characters and everything that's in there is really what it, this is all about for me and I want you to find that and I know you can find that and I know you will go through problems and you'll have setbacks it'll be terrible at times and you'll just want to quit but keep going eventually you're gonna get to an amazing place I want to see you be there because I want to share this joy with all of you take care of yourself I love you I hope you find what you're looking for, and may whatever journey you're on bring you peace, love, and happiness.